actually banking on, haha, uh, that it was actually going to be a skimmer because you saw him slide more towards the wall, but uh, that did that did bank back quite a bit. All right, so we got Juice coming out from Photo right here. Hits Ishii in the back, and Cookie cannot get to it. Oh, a little lobbing going on. Oh, nice, perfect wall ride coming out of Foda right there. And Cookie getting some good blocks here on these wall rides. Passes back to Ishii. Beautiful skimmer right there out of Ishii. Does not connect to the baseline, though. Oh, beautiful block by Game Fiend, but that's the juice curve, and Ishii puts it away to make it 28 to 21. Cookie Monster with a lob, nice little pass up to Game Fiend, who almost got the slow ball, but Ishii with the with the uh, perfect wall ride with Foda out of place so does manage to score points and put them in the lead on this set. Power lob going to that back corner. <laughs> And a beautiful pass to Game Fiend from Foda actually nets the perfect and the points. And Game Feed owning that net right now. He is just up on that net. No one on Cobalt can stop him at this point. Beautiful pickup by Cookie there, but Game Fiend just getting that curve around Cookie as Ishii was way off the court after getting hit in the back. Cookie Monster probably should have uh, been sliding backwards or jumping backwards at that point. And that is a fourth game in a row, ladies and gentlemen, that Bloodsport has won. Here, I thought that was bad. Apparently, Cookie and uh, Ishii don't, aren't playing well together today. They were last week. They almost beat the devs. And Game Fiend, once again, on that net, just, just destroying his opposition. Playing that net in a beautiful way that I would like to see in a nice deep curve there from him again to get it past Cookie Monster. So yeah, I, I really think uh, Ishii's really good 1v1. Um, he can actually almost beat the devs, which when it, which it's not like just beating the devs. Like they last week they were playing their hardest to make sure they beat Ishii and uh, he still almost came out on top several times. All right, so 22 to 18, Cobalt just getting their first score of this set. Nice lob coming out of there, Foda. Both both players on Cobalt were over on that right side, so he lobbed it to the left to make sure that they couldn't get any perfects out of it. And Cookie Monster with a beautiful block up in that front half of the court. And Ishii with his patented, patented wall ride perfect. Oh, and Ishii just lets that one get by him. But yeah, I think Ishii is probably going to be a much better 1v1 player. Um, he does do well in 2v2 if he has a good net player. Um, he can just play the backcourt like it's 1v1 and then just let the net player do his work. So we'll have to see if he can find a good partner for 2v2. But 1v1, I think, is going to be Ishii's bread and butter. It's where he kind of seems the most comfortable, which is why I never came off the net with Ishii. I always stayed on the net. Ooh, right up the middle, splitting Team Cobalt for that score. Oh, and Ishii has to slide both players from Cobalt over on that right side. Once again, Foda making a nice play to lob it to that left side and get that slide out of Ishii. That way he doesn't get his uh, his juice he, the, like he does now. There's more juice, and you can see what Ishii does with that juice. He typically scores once he gets to it because he has that great placement. Ooh. Yeah. Coming out. All right, so Bola just telling me he's not going to be on for the night. His brother might actually be on playing some Pier 3 or something. Yeah, that's who. I I'm glad you like my commentary now. Uh, I did a lot of stuff for Brawlhalla as well. That's where Foda actually knows me from. Um, I did Panzar after Aramac. I've done several things. After Brawlhalla, I just kind of took a, like a year off of streaming. Um, after, you know, I either got pushed out of the community or left the community, however you want to see it. But uh, 
But yeah, I took about a year off. Beautiful power throw from Cookie Monster. Usually you see those uh, those power throws in the back actually get uh, picked up because it's very easy once you've seen a couple iterations of it to actually get in front of it. But that time, uh, Foda and Game Fiend weren't ready for it. But yeah, um, after Brawlhalla, I took like a year break off of streaming. So, or a little less than a year. And uh, then I found this game. I, I told myself, I'm just not going to lock into one game. Uh, and then I found this game, which I find very entertaining to play, even though I get walloped on all the time. Um, it is by a small indie dev, which I like helping out small indie devs. And then um, that whole thing about not just getting locked into one community and kind of streaming multiple games. Right now, they're only doing playtests one day a week. So the community is only really up one day a week. So it kind of fits into that as well, where I can stream other games like Overwatch or every other Monday do Jackbox Party Pack or do some Orcs Must Die or, you know, do stuff like that. Cool, fun stuff. Maybe some Iggy's Egg Adventure, you know, stuff like that. So it actually, it, it kind of just fell into my lap and was kind of the perfect situation. So I'm happy to be here. Um, once the community starts to grow a little bit, I'm going to start hosting a few tournaments here. Um, so you'll need to get yourself a controller as soon as possible, let's see. Or no, that was uh, Icarus who doesn't have a controller. Well, if you don't have a controller, let's see, you should get one. <laughs> All right, so once again, the game goes to Blood Sports. Cookie Monster is done. 